Hi everyone, David Shepherd, Facebook Live. Uh, just found out when I got off of the uh, of the last Facebook Live that went out that uh, it cut out and uh, we lost uh, probably around about two thirds, if not more, of the uh, of the live than that. Something with the uh, the internet uh, went out in our offices. So here we go. I'm going to do the whole thing again. So. Facebook Live, uh, normally, let's just uh, get this clear, normally uh, Facebook, uh, my Facebook Live goes out at uh, 1900 uh, BST or GMT, whatever we're running on in, uh, in London, which is 1800 UTC. And it's every Thursday, we've been doing it since the beginning of January, so I think this is around about 23, 24 uh, Facebook Lives. If you want to see the previous Facebook Lives, then join the group David Shepherd's Facebook Lives, just what it says on the tin, and you'll uh, find them all there. There's probably around about 12 hours of really high quality content about NLP, hypnosis, timeline therapy, and HUNA. So this week I'm going to talk about the breakthrough process. And <clears throat> firstly, let's just get this really quantified. The breakthrough process is not therapy. The breakthrough process is for people who want to achieve a major breakthrough. Louise Baker, how are you doing? Jane Cooper, Marie Taylor, hi Marie, good to, good to see you here. If not, a little bit late, but uh, you're late, I'm late, hey, listen, let's get over it. Um, so uh, um, the breakthrough process is for people who want to make a breakthrough. It's not for people who want therapy, it's not for people who need therapy. It's also the kind of people that will go for a breakthrough process are the kind of people, hi, hi Rob, hi Mark Caporn, hi Mark, how are you? Um, the breakthrough process is for uh, people that have the emotional intelligence to realize that the results that they're not getting in a certain area of their life is due to them. Uh, they know it's not due to external situations, circumstances, etc. They know in some way, shape or form they're holding themselves back. It's just that they have no clue how they're doing, how they're doing. And so for those people, the breakthrough process is perfect. And I'm, I'm going to kind of like map out how, what, why we would do a breakthrough process and how it works uh, using uh, one of my favorite models in NLP, uh, Robert Dilser's um, neurological levels. I know there are people in NLP who say it's not NLP or, or, or whatever. I'm not really that bothered about that. I'm more interested in, as a model, does it work and does it enable people to understand certain things that they didn't do previously in my experiences that Robert's um, neurological levels does do that. I've modified it a little bit uh, to make it a little bit more understandable for non-NLP people. So. Breakthrough process is about one thing, one thing only, which is results. Obviously what we've got is we've got somebody who's not getting the kind of results that they want in a certain area of their life. Maybe they're not getting the kind of results they want in their business, maybe not getting the kind of results they want in their career. And we know that results are as a result of our behaviours. We behave in a certain way, we get a result. This person's behaving in a way that's not enabling them to get the results that they want. And below that, we've got skills and abilities. And what a lot of people do is they go, I'm not getting the result I want, therefore I'm going to book myself, I need more skills. I'll book myself on a Facebook advertising course. I'll book myself on a presentation skills course. And they bolt on more skills. And even though they're bolting on more and more skills, they're learning more and more and more, they're still not getting the kind of results they want. And this is where the breakthrough process comes in. Because below this we have our beliefs, which in previous uh, Facebook Lives I've explained the, uh, either the power of beliefs to empower or destroy, the power of beliefs to create or destroy results. We have our values, which provide the motivation for what we do. So you can even have somebody that's got the skills, got the belief, but their values aren't aligned. So, you know, they just don't take the action. They haven't got the motivation. 
even though they want these things, they just don't do it. Uh, they know exactly what to do, they know what they want, but they don't do it. Why is that? Values. And then underneath this we have identity level beliefs. And identity level beliefs are beliefs that start with the words I am. And in the breakthrough process what I'm looking for is an identity level statement that isn't working for the client. Hey Matt, how's Italy? Have a nice glass of Barolo on me. <laughs> so what we're looking for in the breakthrough process is identifying limiting beliefs, identifying misaligned values and major identity level limiting beliefs. I'm going to put some other things on the side to this because they don't fit into Dilsa's model exactly, but they are part of the breakthrough process, which is negative emotions. So emotions like anger, sadness, fear, hurt, guilt, and how they may affect people's um, results. So for instance, let's say you've got somebody that gets really, really angry seeing somebody successful. Well, how successful are they going to be themselves? I mean, if they were to become successful, they'd have to get angry at themselves, and they're not going to do that. Fear, you know, fear of public speaking. Number one fear in the US, number two fear in the UK. Fear of prospecting, fear of failure, fear of success, any of those kind of things. Guilt, uh, feeling guilty about wanting to be more successful, feeling guilty about wanting to have more money. So all of these can prevent the person from getting the results they want. And then what we might add and put out the side here is the notion of parts. Now what if you've got a person that there's a part of them that want to sabotage everything they went for. So part of them doesn't believe that they can achieve what they want. There's a part of them that doesn't think it's okay for them to get what they want. So these are the kind of things that are present that can prevent people from achieving the results that they want. And so if we looked at our, uh, what I would call our success team, we've got our conscious mind, and we've got our unconscious mind. And the conscious mind decides what we want in our business, our career, our relationship, our health and fitness, any of those kind of things. It's the unconscious mind that actually works out the how. So if we put it into goals, and I talk about this in the previous Facebook Live, we've got the goal setter and the goal getter. Or a new name that I came up with in the previous Facebook Live, which has now disappeared, is the goal achiever. So all of this is in the unconscious mind. So we think about what we want, we're going to map this over here as we move down that diagram there. We go from the conscious mind to the unconscious mind. Most people aren't aware consciously of their beliefs, their values, certainly their deepest level held identity beliefs. The anger, the sadness, the fear, the hurt, the guilt is in their unconscious mind. If there are parts that are sabotaging, it's in their unconscious mind. So the breakthrough process works with this. And this is all stuff that I explain to my breakthrough client uh, before we even really get started with anything. Plus the major frames that we go through, and again the client's going to be willing to accept these, is the idea of uh, cause and effect. In that, you know, in some way, shape, or form, they're causing or creating their current experience, and they want to change that. The idea of results versus reasons. And when we talk about that one, then people start to realize they've got more reasons for not getting the result than they have for getting the result, which is why they're not getting the result. And the idea of perception is projection. And this is really a big one, particularly for business owners to get. 
because they start to realize that all they've got is a perception of their business, a perception of their staff, a perception of their product, a perception of the market, a perception of uh, their customers, and all of that is their projection, which is why they've got this experience that they keep doing things, they keep doing things differently, and everything that they do doesn't work. When it starts to work in one area, it stops working in another, something else stops working in another area, so they don't necessarily go anywhere, no matter how much they're working. So they need to be willing to accept these major frames, because this is what makes the breakthrough process work. Now we're into the process itself, and we've got questions. In the NLP world in general, I find that people don't ask enough questions. What well, I'm, I'm asking somebody questions for around about two and a half to three hours to really find out what, you know, what the root cause of this problem is, where it all began. You know, I like this analogy with this because when I was a kid and we lived in Nottingham, we used to, in the winter when it snowed, if you remember snowy winters, maybe not old enough, um, then, um, you know, we'd go to Woolerton Park, because Woolerton Hall was on the top of a big hill. We'd climb to the top of the hill through the snow. We'd make a little snowball like this, and then we'd set it rolling down the hill. And it would start out that small, but by the time it got to the bottom of the hill, it was absolutely massive. And that's actually what's happening with this particular situation. It started out tiny, but now it's absolutely massive, which has caused the person to actually want to achieve a breakthrough in the first place. So where did it start? Where were the origins? Where are the roots? Where were the seedlings that created this particular situation that the person's got in their life? I'm also going to be eliciting their values. And particularly, I'm going to be going for values conflicts. In a previous Facebook Live, I talked about values and I also talked about the conflicts between towards and away from motivation. Um, both of those create uh, motivation, most definitely both have people take action. But there are some major downsides to away from motivation. And so I want to pull out all of those values conflicts in the area that the life of the person wants to do the uh, breakthrough in. This is a biggie. These two are biggies for the client. Because the client here gets this dawning realization of how they actually are causing their current situation. Not always a comfortable experience, but in actual fact, it's not a comfortable experience at all. And though, if they realize how they created it, they also need, and they also then can uncreate it. Also, when they see, you know, quite typically what we find at this particular stage is the person has a lot of away from value conflicts. Not really a surprise. This is an area of their life that's not working for them. They look at those values and quite often they go, wow, it's hardly surprising that that area of my life's not working with all of those away froms. Everything I'm wanting to move away from, I'm actually experiencing. How is that? Well, you know, if we get hold of the notion of don't think of a blue tree, it becomes very, very obvious how they're creating that. Now, this is, this is real brilliant, because at this point in time, if they realize how they're creating their current situation through their beliefs, through their negative emotions, through their values conflicts, and those negative emotions would have disappeared, and the limiting decisions would have disappeared, and the away from values conflicts would have disappeared, by their own admission, their future would be significantly different than the past that they've been experiencing. Very important step. Then, now, and only now, this is probably four, three, four hours, we're into interventions. We're going to release all the negative emotions. Using things like timeline therapy, using things like mental emotional release, using things like time-based techniques, using things like havening, for instance. We're going to delete limiting decisions. We're going to integrate 
any parts that come to the surface. That's our intervention overall. Now, important piece. Realicit values. So let's just look at this. This is a really important piece in the breakthrough process. So here we've elicited the values. We've then done the interventions, which might only take like an hour, an hour and a half. Then we're into realizing the values. And their experience is that their values have totally changed. They've gone from highly away from to massively towards. Their values in their actual content of the values may have completely changed. I've had people where as many as half, if not three quarters of the person's values have disappeared because they were very, very away from to be replaced by totally new towards values. It's a massively convincing experience for them in black and white, on the page, in their own words. This is where they were, this is where they are now. Huge. There's no way they can walk away from that and go, I don't think it didn't, I don't think it worked. So there, majorly important piece, goals. Gotta have goals. When the client comes to you, they are more likely significantly away from motivated. When somebody's away from motivated, they don't need goals. The world around them provides them with things to move away from. They don't need things to move towards to provide motivation. When all that away from motivation is gone, they've got to have goals to move towards. They've got to give their unconscious mind something to move towards. Go get me this. Also, you know, the thing to think about is the goals that we want to be setting would be exciting goals, compelling goals, motivational goals. It, it, it still amazes me, people in the NLP world, that can't work out that if they set goals that are boring, they can't work out then why their future is boring. Well, <laughs> you, you get what you ask for. If you ask for boring things, then you're going to get boredom. If you ask for exciting things, motivating things, then your future will be full of excitement and motivation. So, we have to have goals. We've talked about SMART in the past. And the distinctions in that, SMART's been around for a long time, but I think there's some really important distinctions which a lot of people miss in SMART. And um, that is something which we talked about in a previous Facebook Live. And then we've got some kind of creating the future process. Where we literally install the future into the person's future timeline. We're not finished at that point in time. That's just the first part of the breakthrough process. Because now, the person goes away and takes action. Quite often, only when the person starts taking action do they realize some of the things are in the way. Let's say this here, this flip chart, is a negative emotion or a limiting belief. And I'm not going anywhere in my life. I don't know that's there. Or I'm going this way in my life. I don't know that's there. But as soon as I go, actually, this is where I want to go in my future, then I bump into it, mm -hmm. and it's there. So this is why I always build in follow-up after the main process itself. Because quite often it's not until the person actually starts moving forward that they realize there are other things in the way. Maybe another part, maybe a, another negative emotion, maybe another limiting belief. So this is where follow-ups are vital as far as that's concerned. And that
that then is the entire breakthrough process. Uh, I teach it in our Master Practitioner training, which we've got coming up, uh, actually starting tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be teaching the, uh, the breakthrough session in its entirety in full detail um, in the Master Practitioner training. In fact, the delegates on the Master Practitioner training will be actually doing a breakthrough session both as a master practitioner and as the client, so that when they leave that training, one, they know how powerful it is, two, they know they can do it, because they've experienced it on both sides of that. Uh, it's also available as the uh, ultimate fix uh, with Fix My Mind, on a one-to-one -one basis. And this bit, everything I've talked about there, not with the follow-ups necessarily, we can actually do it with, with a group. So in our Fix Your Mind seminar, uh, I actually guide the entire um, group through the listing values, identifying linchpin limiting decisions, releasing negative emotions, all of those kind of things, setting goals for the next five, five years, and it's the same breakthrough process, but on a one-to-many basis. So, trust that's been uh, useful for you. Again, apologies for uh, it not going out at the time that we um, were actually in the studio broadcasting. It just wasn't going outside of the office for some uh, reason. Um, and uh, if, you, if you want to look at some of the earlier Facebook Lives, then um, they're in David Shepard's Facebook Lives. Join the group and you can watch all of them. As I say, it's about 12 hours of quality content there. If you like this kind of uh, stuff and you want to go into delve into it significantly deeper, then I put all of the, my uh, training programs into an app. About 12 months ago, I had a dream of creating the Netflix of NLP and personal development. I love Netflix values of high quality content delivered in a flexible way at a fair price. And I realized nobody had done it for the personal development and NLP space. So that's now done, it does exist. It's got around about 25 programs in there at the moment and new material every month. If you want to find out about that, then go to this website here, davidshepherd.com, and uh, you can find out all the information that you want about being able to get that I Am David Shepherd app. So you can study your NLP and all of those kind of things, personal development, anywhere in the world that you've got an internet connection through your smartphone or your tablet. So we will see you next Thursday here. If everything goes according to plan, it will be at 1900 BST, 1800 UTC, and we will actually be doing our Master Practitioner training. So I've got to work out and jiggle exactly what we'll be doing and what we'll be covering, uh, but you more than likely will be able to swoop in and see our section of our Master Practitioner training live next Thursday here on Facebook Live. Have a good evening if you're here in the UK or Europe, a good morning. If you're in the US, one of our US viewers, uh, another good morning if you're um, uh, one of our Australian and uh, viewers from New Zealand. Look forward to seeing you again and uh, great. See you on Facebook Live. Cheers.